Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today's video is going to be the roundup review for all of my darn good yarn boxes for 2020. This video is not sponsored in any way and I bought all of this with my own money every month. The darn good yarn box, if you're not familiar, is a subscription box that you can get monthly. There are different tiers that you can buy and I have the $10 tier. The $10 tier comes with one thing of yarn and then one mystery item that is different every time. So like I said, I am going to be going over each video starting from January and just talking through the items that I got in each video. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are the two items that I received in my January 2020 Darn Good Yarn box. Let's start with the yarn. It is this gorgeous multicolor dotted yarn. It is absolutely beautiful. It is squishy. And I love it. It is beautiful. You will notice that I have not used any of the yarn that I got in my Darn Good Yarn boxes. And I have a reason for that. And I will explain at the end when I do my sort of roundup of everything. I'm going to show you everything together at the end and go over like pricing and how much everything is and, and all of that. Um, so you will see that. I will show you how I am displaying them in my craft room though. And I will add that clip in here. So that is going to be how I am displaying all of my yarn right now. So you can see that I have all of them on my bookshelf. And I do love the way that looks. I think it is very, very pretty. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am not very good at um, figuring out what to do with small skeins of yarn. I'm trying to find ideas on um, how I can use them up. I did want to also say that if you wanted any of the yarn, you could buy them individually from Darn Good Yarn's website. I think some of them get discontinued sometimes. I know I went on there and I looked for some and some were not there. There are some from this my haul that are there still. So I think it just depends on like if you see one you like, go check. Um, and I will I will have everything you know linked down below as always. So let's go on to the this was my mystery item. It is sort of like a hand balm for um, when you are crafting. I used it a couple of times when I was you know crocheting, and it's just very slippy. There's no color, nothing. It's just kind of like it's a lip balm basically. I was not a big fan of the hand salve. Um, I just felt like it was slippy and I didn't want to get it on my yarn and I felt really kind of weird about it. I actually would not purchase the balm with my own money, but I would purchase this yarn. This yarn is very nice and if I wanted to do a project with these specific colors, like the just the way it was made and the coloring in it, I absolutely would buy another one of this color to make an actual project with. So that's going to be my first box. Let's move on to my box in February. So these were the items that I received in my February 2020 box. To start with the yarn, the yarn is a very small, all blue yarn. And to be honest, I've said it before, I am not a fan of using small yarns and uh, very thin yarns and smaller hooks it just it drives me insane it's just harder to work with in my opinion and i'm just not really a fan of it the yarn is very pretty but i just i don't know what to do with it and i have again i have some ideas i'm gonna share at the end of what i might do but for now i don't really know what to do with it i would not buy it with my own money because of my you know my own reasons and stuff but that is the yarn that i received and then I did receive this tassel. Now the tassel is very pretty and I have this one and another one that I received in 2020 from a Darn Good Yarn Box and I will have the picture of how I am displaying them put up right now. So 
So uh, that is how I'm displaying both of the tassels I received. This tassel is very pretty. I do like the colors. I like how it was made. I like the little clasp. But to be honest, I would not buy it with my own money. The reason I wouldn't buy it with my own money is if I wanted a tassel, I would probably just make it on my own. And that's coming from someone who's kind of crafty though. Um, like I know this is yarn. I know how they did the top right here. Um, the only thing I don't know is how they did this little um, braid at, up here, but I know you can get like a clasp like this at a craft store. So like I, if I wanted a tassel like this, I would honestly just make one and ha make like, have like a crafty night and make it, make the colors I wanted, you know, stuff like that. So I personally would not buy um, either of these items with my own money. So that was my February box. Let's move on to my March box. These are the two items that I received in my March Darn Good Yarn box for 2020. Oh my gosh, this yarn. This was one of my favorite yarns that I received. Um, not only the color, but the weight. It's very like squishy and just soft. And it was one of my favorites. Again, I have this weird thing with special yarn <laughs> that... That if I buy anything that, ha or if I get anything that's special yarn, I don't know what to do with it because it's like, it's like when you get stickers and you want to put them in a really special place so you don't like waste them. That's what I want to do with yarn is I don't want to waste it. So I have no idea what to make with this. I absolutely love this color and this yarn and I would buy this particular yarn with my own money. If I wanted to make a project with, with more of it, or if I figure out a project to make with this one, I would buy this yarn again. It's beautiful. Then I got these little buttons. I am actually not sure if you can buy these on Darn Good, Darn Good <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can buy these on Darn Good Yarn or if you would have to go to this website or this Etsy shop down here. Um, I'm not sure if they're like affiliated or anything. So, but these are little buttons that I got. They are absolutely adorable. Again, it's one of those special things where I'm like, they're so cute and special and they're like handmade that I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I want a special project that I can make um, for them and so so I'm not sure if I would buy these with my own money because it would have to be a project that I knew exactly what I wanted to make and I knew these buttons would go with it and everything so I'm undecided on the buttons they are adorable but I think it would have to be a special case for me to buy these buttons again so let's move on to my darn good yarn box from April these are the two items that I received in my April yarn box for the yarn, I think this yarn is very cute and pretty. And if I had a project I really wanted to make with this particular yarn, I actually would buy this one again. I like the weight of it. I like the way it feels. I like the, you know, the stranded colors in it. It's very cute and I would buy this one again. This yarn laundry soap. I was not a fan of this. I definitely would not buy this. Um, I think it's $3 and there are two different scents. There's the sandalwood and there's the unscented. There are two different sizes that you can buy. The problem I had with it is it worked and my, it made some of my yarn soft and that was nice. The problem was I did not like the sandalwood smell. It was, I just am not a fan of it. Um, so what I would do is instead of buying like this for $3, I would buy some fabric softener in a scent that you really enjoy and that will end up lasting you way longer because I'm pretty sure you don't need as much. Um, so I would just go that route and it might end up saving you some money in the long run instead of buying, you know, you don't need that much of this but it also just comes down to probably scent if you need, wanted this scent or the unscented. Um, the unscented might work for you a little bit better, I don't know. It did work but I would probably go the route of buying some fabric softener just from like your local grocery store instead. So let's move on to my May box. So these are the items that I received in my May 2020 Darn Good Yarn box. This yarn is absolutely stunning and I love the glitter. I would buy this particular yarn again if I wanted to make another project using this color. It is beautiful, it is um, a little thicker and it's very soft, squishy, durable. I just, I love the color in particular. Like this color speaks to me, it's very pretty. I would definitely buy this one again. And then on to the little gauge, which is a knitting needle and crochet hook gauge. Now this, there are different ones that you can buy in craft stores. This is a very unique one. So I was saying if you absolutely love this design, 
I would think it was worth it. It's very um, sturdy. It's nice. It's very easy to use. It has so many different gauges that um, are helpful. I definitely would have bought this with my own money because I, like I said, I think I said in my other video when I was reviewing, when I opened this and unboxed this, um, I was saying that, you know, I didn't have one and I actually was going to go look for one if I needed one eventually because I had seen them. And um, I eventually wanted to get one, so I was glad that this one had come to me. So now that I have this one, I'm very, very happy with it. So I would say if I didn't have one, I probably, and I had seen this one, I probably would have picked this one up with my own money. So let's move on to my June yarn box. These are the items received in my June Darn Good yarn box. Again, with the small, thin yarn, I would not buy this with my own money. It is very cute. I love the coloring. Um, you know, like I mentioned with the all blue one, it's just too thin and I personally would not use it. But if you like this type of yarn, I mean, it's very nice. It's dense and, and you know, it's squishy. It's not very soft. It's actually kind of rough to the touch for this one. The, the blue one was actually a little rough to the touch too. Um, but yeah, it's very cute. I just, it's not a personal fave for me. So this is a little shawl pin and it is absolutely handmade. It is beautiful and pretty. I personally, again, would not buy this with my own money. I do not wear shawls on the regular, so it's not something that would have interest me. Um, but it is gorgeous. And if you were looking for one, I would say this is a good one to get. It's sturdy. It's definitely, you can tell it's handmade and made well. It's it's nice, but it's not something that I would have picked up on my own. Let's move on to my July Darn Good Yarn Box. These are the items that I received in my July Darn Good Yarn Box. And I was so excited to get this little guy right here. I collect yarn pens and I was so excited to receive him. So I actually didn't know that he was going to be in this box. It was supposed to be the yarn and then one mystery item, which was this little bracelet right here. But I received him because I had been a member of Darn Good Yarn and had the subscription service for a year. And I was actually going to buy him on my own, so I was super excited to receive him. So I just wanted to show you I did get him in this box, but I'm actually not going to count him because I didn't know he was supposed to be in there. And he's technically not part of like the stuff that you would get in your boxes, if that makes sense. I've never gotten another pen, so I have no idea if they do pens in the boxes regularly, but I have never gotten one, so he's not going to count. I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> All right, let's start with the sea glass. So this is a sea glass diffuser bracelet. I actually have no idea how the diffuser part works, but it is this gorgeous bracelet. It is like cool to the touch. The sea glass is beautiful. Um, it is very, very pretty. It's lightweight too. It's definitely a lightweight bracelet. I am not really a bracelet person, so I would not have bought this with my own money. It's beautiful, and I think I'm actually going to give it to my mom. I think she would really, really enjoy this. I just, I will never wear it because I don't wear bracelets, unfortunately. If I did wear bracelets, I would wear it. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is the mystery gift that I received. And then this is the yarn that I got. Now, I love the weight of this yarn. It's squishy and nice, and the weight is not too thin, not too thick. It's very, very pretty, and I do love the color. If I was making a project with this yarn and this weight, I definitely would buy this color again. I think it's nice, so I do like this one. It's not like an absolute favorite, but I would buy it again if I really wanted to make a project out of this one. So... Let's move on to my August yarn box. So these are the items in my August yarn box. I'm going to start with the yarn. It is that medium squishy yarn. Um, it's very soft. I love that it is, you know, soft and squishy. The colors are nice, but these are not colors that I would particularly gravitate towards. Now, I would buy this yarn in the particular weight that it is if I could find different colors. I would not buy the yarn in this color again just because I don't really like it as much as the other colors that I have received. But it is pretty and yeah, that's the one that I got in this box. So then I did receive these two felt coasters made from these little felt balls. At first I was very excited to receive these. I think they look really cute in my craft room overall. 
So I started using them and um, they at first were working very well and then my cat ended up knocking one off of like a shelf and one of the little felt balls fell out. So these are probably held together by like hot glue or just <laughs> they're not made entirely super well which um, I mean I don't think they were too expensive to make anyway. I would say probably um it would be fun to make like a craft day out of this and make your own and i think that would be really really cute and fun because then you can make them in colors that you want do you i mean you could buy them i would not personally buy them again um i probably would have bought them the first time if i had seen them um just because of how cute they were and i would have wanted them in my craft room to decorate with but now that i know i would absolutely make them on my own and I would just make a craft day out of it and have fun with it and make my own colors. So let's move on to my September yarn box. These are the two items that I received in my September darn good yarn box. The yarn is very cute and squishy and I do love how it's like textured and, and woven together. Um, it is very cute. I absolutely would buy this particular yarn in the weight but in a different color. I like this color, but I'm not in love with it um, as much as I thought I was going to be over time. At first when I unboxed it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love it. It's pretty. And then I started like, I had it on my shelf and I just kept looking at it. I'm like, you know what? It's actually not my favorite. So I would definitely buy this weight again and uh, this like twisted color in some different colors. And then I received these knitting needles and this crochet hook in a pack together. I would not have bought this with my own money because I do not knit. So half of it is sort of a waste of money for me. But receiving it is very nice. Um, I love the hook. The hook is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorites um, because I like my metal hooks and I love the head of it. It's, it's, uh, it's like the ones I normally use on a regular basis. So I absolutely love the hook. But I would not have bought it because I don't knit. So some of it just, it wouldn't have made sense for me. Let's move on to my October box. These are the items in my October Darn Good Yarn box. This was probably the best box for me considering I would buy both of these items with my own money. <laughs> so to start with the yarn, I absolutely would buy this yarn again in um, either a similar color or different colors for different projects. It's absolutely stunning. It's another one of those things where it's a special yarn and I don't know what to make with it because I don't want to just uh, waste it. So um, right now it's being used as decoration like my other yarn that I showed you. And I love that this is probably one of my favorite ones, just the way it shines and it's absolutely stunning with the colors. Then these little stitch markers. If I had seen these before I um, got my box, I absolutely would have bought them because they have the little darn good yarn sheep on them. They are so cute and I love them so much. So I absolutely would have bought both of these with my own money. Let's move on to my November yarn box. These are the two items for my November Darn Good Yarn Box. To start with the yarn, I absolutely would buy this yarn with my own money, possibly in different colors. I believe this yarn and the blush pink yarn that I showed earlier are the same weight and sort of the same type of squishy yarn. This one has a little bit more, it has different like colors into it and everything. Um, I would buy this yarn again. It is very cute. I actually would buy this color too if I had a project I wanted to use it for because I love how it has like the little, I'm trying to make it focus. I'm sorry if y'all can't see that. I love how it has some of the little, um, some colors woven into it and such. It is very, very pretty. So I would buy this again. This is a little purse or clutch and I would not have bought this with my own money. Um, I think it's very cute and I love the artistry and work that was put into it, but I don't really need it for anything. Right now I have it um, on my shelf and you could see that in the video clip that I added in earlier, but I don't really need it for anything. It's sort of just going to sit around and look cute. I would not use a purse this size for myself, just personally. So I would not have bought this with my own money, but it is very cute and I do enjoy having it sit on my shelf for now. Let's move on to my last box, the December box. So these are the two items that I received in my December darn good yarn box. 
to start with the yarn. I do love this coloring and I think I would buy this one again. I thought at first when I unboxed it that it was a little too thin, but it's actually not that bad. It's not that thin. Um, so I think if I wanted to do anything in this particular colorway or if they have other colors for this size, I would definitely buy this yarn again. It's very cute and I would love to make something with it eventually. Now the little peacock. I don't know if I would have bought this out with my own money because I've seen it before like I said in the video that I had made. I've seen it before and I didn't pick it up only because I don't make these little plushies because it drives me insane how small of the yarn I have to use and the small hook and everything. Um, I do eventually plan to make this though. And I will do like an updated video on um, probably making this and you know if I would eventually buy this with my own money again. Right now, um, I would not pick it up with my own money because of all the reasons I said a little while ago. <laughs> but it is cute and I do plan on making it. And I'm glad I actually received it because I do, now that I have one, I do want to make it. Um, so that is going to be my December box. I did want to quickly showcase the items that I had added on to my Darn Good Yarn box subscriptions. So if you have the subscription service, you get a little panel on the side of the screen that will show you items that are discounted because you have the subscription. And it will be like, hey, you can add this item to your cart and it will come with your subscription box when your box gets to you. And these are the items that I added on. So I did want to show you guys because I showed them in the videos when I got them. But I did want to update you and let you know how I feel about them. So this was the first one that I had added on and it's probably my favorite thing I've ever gotten from Darn Good Yarn. Um, the weight of it and I use it constantly because it is scissors. I use it to you know snip yarn and everything and just as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it and it it's my favorite thing. I love this one. I love these scissors so much. I use them constantly. They're so cute. So I did want to show you guys those. Then I did add this yarn bowl. It was the first yarn bowl I got before I got this guy and the weight of it and it's just beautifully made. I love displaying yarn in it. I love, you know, using it. It's beautiful. I'm so glad I added these on. They're gorgeous. And then this is my newest this is my newest yarn bowl. It is a little cat and I love the way it is made. It is beautiful. I have yet to actually use this one yet um, only because it's been sitting on my desk for right now just looking cute but I'm very excited to use it. So yeah I did want to show you guys just in case you saw them in the videos and you were like hey wait like you you hauled those and I'm, I did but I added them with my own money so no regrets in buying these. Let's move on to the recap of everything that I would have bought with my own money, everything I would have skipped over, all the pricing, and everything like that. So this is everything all together that I received in all of my boxes for 2020. I did quickly want to go over the pricing. So each box, the $10 box, comes to $13.99 with tax. So all together these items are going to add up to right under $170 all together for all of the boxes of the year. Now, would I pay $170 for all of these items? No, because most of these items I would not have bought with my own money, and I went over that with you guys just now in all the videos, so it's, it doesn't make sense for me to pay $170 for all of these particular items. Now, if you think you would use the majority of these items, then that would be good for you, um, considering it's chopped up monthly. So now I wanted to go over and sort of separate all of these items into the things I would buy and the things that I would not buy. I think it would be visually appealing to see it sort of all together. I did it in the videos of the things I would and would not, but I think all together it would look really cool to see everything <laughs> sort of separated. So let me go ahead and do that. So these are all the items that I would buy with my own money, which is 11 items total. These are all the items that I would not have purchased with my own money and that total is going to be 13 items. I can't believe I finally made it to the wrap up video. 
I have been so excited to get here all year and just review and go over all these items with you guys. It's been such a long but fun process. It's absolutely exciting and fun for me to unbox them and then just go over them and show you my real thoughts and opinions on everything. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I have so much fun every month receiving these items. I am going to continue this project into 2021. It's just so fun for me to receive every month and it's not that much that comes out of my shop budget. So I, I just really enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback and any questions that you guys have down below. If I didn't go over something that you needed to know, um, just let me know down below. You know, I want to chat with you guys. Let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled. Let me know what your least favorite item was that I hauled. I want to chat with you guys down below. So thank you guys so much and have a great day.